is Helen doing here? Uh... Hi. What are you what doing here? What are you here? doing here? Well, the fact of the matter is... Your sister has made me very proud. We couldn't tell you the good news before, but Helen has been expelled from the university. What? If we're going to have a scene, either ask this young man to leave or introduce us. Marion, please. Helen... Oh, now, look, let her alone. After all, I was expelled from Harvard, wasn't I? Why shouldn't a girl follow in her father's footsteps? Excuse me a moment. I'll talk to you later. I have a feeling she'll be talking to me, too. Name, please? Oh, uh, Charlie something or other. He uh, says he's a bartender. Oh, yes. Charlie what? Uh, Wills. I wish I were a bartender, a nice civilian bartender. We shall feel a bit champagne. Oh, merci. Voulez-vous me prêter votre verre? Bien sûr. C'est un vieux ami de France. Si, vous ne restez pas trop longtemps absent. I told him we knew each other. Well, we do in a way. We're only kissing in our reveal. We were? We seem now. You were one of the ones at the Ritz bar. <laughs> Et toi? <laughs> Place Vendôme. <Yeah. laughs> I know. Near the Dingo Cafe. You do remember. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's the only other place I ran into more uniforms today. <laughs> Are you rich? No. Does that finish me off? No, but it does slow us up a little. We're not rich either. We just live that way. Daddy says it's the same thing, only it's much cheaper. I think I like him. That's good. Because he'll try to borrow money from you, and I don't want him to be disappointed. I like the way you kiss me. Really? I do. I'm afraid I've underestimated the alcoholic capacity of our guests. I'll only be a few minutes. Well, get the bartender here to help you. <laughs> Say, Wills, Wills. Are you one of the wealthy Willses from Maryland? <laughs> oh. This way, Lieutenant. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you from? Milwaukee. Would you help me? Sure. Noted for good beer, women with lovely legs, and practically no millionaires. <laughs> And you? New York till I was 12. Then Daddy moved us to Paris. When the Germans came in 1940, I was sent to school in Switzerland. That's where the loot's kept. No. Oh. Daddy put it there so the Germans wouldn't drink it. <laughs> Very resourceful man. And lots of fun. Is he? That's his 11th commandment, having fun. Especially now. He says that after a war, everybody should always be gay and have fun. Isn't your father a little old for this war? Oh, he wasn't in this one. He was in the 1918 war, and he's been celebrating ever since. Now that the war in Europe is over, what are you going to do? Try to stay out of the war in the Pacific. That's very sensible. That ought to be enough to tame the tiger. Charles, I was wondering what had happened to you. Nothing. Yet. Everybody's waiting to meet you. Well, I've really got, got a report back to the paper for some sort of story. Oh, can't you stay just a few minutes? I'm sorry, I've got a deadline. Oh, Lieutenant, don't take the party with me. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice laugh. Do you think someday soon we might be rich? 